We need um, some co um, coloring material. It can be markers, crayons, watercolor, whatever you have is fine. Um, you need scissors and you need a paper. Okay. So first, let's see the first step. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to place the paper um, the horizontally like this and then uh, in the landscape style okay not this way like this in the landscape style usually how we put the paper when we are drawing the landscape then what we are going to do is we are going to fold the paper match this edge with the other edge of the paper okay press it down then what you're going to do is you're going to fold again. So again, when you're folding, match this with the this part. And then one more fold. Okay. So all together, we folded three times. And each time we were matching the other side. Let's open this, okay? So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creases, right? So next, what we're going to do is turn the paper and then on the second crease, this is crease, right? We're going to fold it inwards. Second crease, one first crease, second crease, fold it inwards. Not that much, yeah. And what is it called? Crease in words. So, what I'm going to do is there is this third, uh, the next crease, right? I'm going to fold that and then make it this way. So, there are two creases outside, okay? And then it is like this. It's like can you see what how we folded it yeah now what we do is um, we're going to open this and then let me take up grab a pencil what i'm going to do is you can use a ruler i can't find my ruler let me use this okay I'm going to draw a straight line, leaving a little bit this much, the size of this uh, on top. I'm just keeping that there and then drawing a straight line, okay? And then on the bottom too. So, open this up oh no fold it and then do the same thing here also so see the lines are matching inside and outside right now what we're going to do is um we are going to draw a flower inside here okay so for that i want this thing to be so i'm taking a lid to make the circle so i'm going to find the middle and find the middle uh, put it in the middle the middle should the middle of the lid should run uh, be in the uh, the crease okay so because there is this dot on this thing I know that is the middle and it should be in line with the opening okay i'm going to so that way this is going to be a flower so th that way the flower uh half of the flower should be uh equally on both the sides that's the reason i'm putting this in the middle okay so i have the middle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw some petals so first petal i'm going to draw from the middle here i'm drawing a line like that 
and then in between this and this I'm going to draw another line hope you guys can see in between this and this another line does it look like a sun right now does right so then if you want more petals if it uh, so you can add more lines okay so I'm going to make um, thick petals like uh, big petals so I'm going to stick with this much uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into petals this is the middle like that I'm going to draw a curvy line around this guys see the flower that I'm making so I made a flower okay so let me show you on the whiteboard how to make a flower okay where is my whiteboard marker okay. so there are different ways you can draw the flower so let's pretend that this is the middle line and you do this and this okay so um you can draw so what i showed is i made lines like this right first line like that and then line in between these two in between these two like that and you saw how i turned that into the flower right so if you want you can add more petals so here i'm going to add in between each of those lines that I made another set of lines okay now uh, so the, the other one I made petals like this right this because there are more lines the uh, petals are going to look closer together See that the lines that you make are like equal length okay otherwise some petals will be um, longer okay so this is one way you can draw um, flowers let me show another type of flowers same thing start with the lines so that way the the petals will be uniformly distributed okay so this time if you want you can make petals like heart shaped petals the bump should go in the middle like that see so another type now let's try another one so again like that this won't be this long <laughs> you can make previously it was like a v or the here it can be rounded right Another flower. So the one that I made, I'm going to make a few changes to that. Okay, let me show you. So this is what I have done on the card right now.
If I want, you can make in between these to make it look more like a sunflower. Got it? So uh, that way you can do. So I think we have enough oh, type of flowers, right? For the time being. So go ahead, draw a flower that you like. So once you're done drawing, what you should do is you can outline the thing with, I'm using a permanent marker. If you don't have a permanent marker at home, go ahead, use a crayon because we are going to paint on top of this, okay? So we don't wanna use the regular black marker. Or what you can do is if you don't have um, a black crayon and you want to oh, make the lines with black marker, um, you, should not be doing if you don't have the sharpie now don't make the lines now you can uh paint and when you're done when the paint is dry you can outline with a black normal marker so i'm just outlining this i'm not going to outline uh go over the lines okay. the middle lines that i made because that is that was just for uh, that was guidelines. Okay. Okay. So you can erase. Where is my yucky eraser? <laughs> I haven't still found my good eraser. So erase up the um, pencil lines. It would be best if you drew lightly. I made the lines a little bit dark so you guys can see better, right? Okay, so after you're done with that much, what you're going to do is you're going to um, take the scissors and then you're going to cut out, cut this on the line, okay? Hold it, you're going to cut the bottom paper also, the bottom folded paper. we are going to cut these uh, petals out okay so I'm going to open it and then cut carefully we want the petals to be intact cut just next to the line okay so this card Mother's Day is coming up right so you can make this card for your mom you want to give this to your grandma grandma is also a mom right she was a mom that's why you have a mom or a dad right so you can give to your grandma if you want if you want um to give this card if somebody else in your house uh, you you have a sibling who's having a birthday soon you can give this to that person or if somebody is graduating this year from your family, you can make this card for that person. Okay, so this is just, I'm showing you how to make a card. A card that you can make any time of the year and give whoever you want. So this doesn't have to be a Mother's Day card. This can be a card that you can make any time of the year, not just spring. So if you are not making this during spring, if you don't want it to be a flower, maybe you can make a heart. So do all the steps like that. Instead of the flower, you can draw a heart like that. That also works. Um, I am planning to draw a heart inside. So that's why I thought because it's spring, 
let's make a flower. So we have cut this now inside you can either write whatever message you want to write inside or you can draw a heart i'm going to make a heart inside okay i'm going to do it lightly because i don't want to erase my and my pencil is not going to erase so well i will go over that with a marker so you guys can see better So I made a jewel heart inside. Drawing the heart is easy. You guys know how to make a heart. So I'm sure I don't have to show you guys how to make a heart, right? So the heart is there. Maybe I can write, if it's for your mom, write your mom's uh, mom. Uh, if it if you want to write her name, you can write her name in there. If it's for a friend, you can write um, best friend. If you want to write, um, it is for your uh, brother, happy birthday for its birth or a sister for her their birthday. You can write happy birthday message inside. So I'm just going to write mom inside. You can make this as fancy as you want. Okay. I'm just making only, I'm making small lines around it to make it look a little bit fancy, not too much. done no we need to color this thing out right so let's see how we color it okay you can either use a crayon to color in um, or you can use um, whatever coloring material you have so I'm just going to add some dots here okay and then so to color with crayon, do I need to show how to color with the crayon? Let me make the crease a little bit more. I'm using this part of my nail and then pressing it down so that it stays closed. And this also needs to be pressed down really well. So it stays down. Okay. So now, um, let me show you guys a trick to color this. If you can color this with a um, marker because it's not a big thing. But if you want to give it a watercolor look, you can use the markers if you don't have watercolor at home and then give it a watercolor look. So let me show you a trick, okay? So what color should the flower be? Hmm. Maybe you should use maybe blue. Not this one. Blue and yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, let me, let me use the lightest color first. So, I have taken an aluminum foil, a small piece is enough. Okay. Or you can use a Ziploc bag, and then on top of the bag or on top of this aluminum foil, you're going to take the marker and then you're going to. Uh, color on it like this okay so once you're done if you have a brush at home you're going to take the brush and you're going to dip your brush in water and then add some water to this this brush is a special brush because this has water here so let me show you how to add water okay so I don't have to have water here so I'm just adding a drop of water to this mix it so take the regular brush and then do this and then let's see 
you can color with it. Can you see? So you can color with marker if that is what you have at home. So a little bit is enough with water it spreads out my should have used orange because uh, yellow is a very light color and the lines are showing through hmm. maybe i'll do something later so this is how you can make watercolor if you don't have watercolor at home and color so not that much you don't need that much color see how much i made and then add a drop of water dip the brush if you have regular brush dip it in water and then add a little bit over here mix it with this and then take the paint and then you can color with that okay to find my bigger brush this is taking a lot of time let me use my i have i just wanted to show you guys how to use markers if you have markers but if you have watercolor just swirl this in watercolor and then paint with it right Or if you don't have um, water, uh, markers or watercolors, you can color this with crayon. It doesn't matter. I wanted to show you guys a new way to use your materials. That's all. Okay. You can, if you don't have um, markers at home, you can, next time when you get markers, you can try making color. I'm going to go over it with one more time. To make it a little darker you can try this out next time when you get markers hope you guys had fun making the mice last last week was it fun did you guys have uh play with the mice after you made it do you have a raise i thought that lesson was a fun lesson that's why i made those made that a lesson for you guys last week so here if you want to add a little bit of orange to the thing I'm trying to make it as fancy as I can because this is a card that I'm going to give someone, right? So it needs to look really nice. So I'm going to take my time and color this as best as I can. It's better to wait for a few seconds in between so that the color dries and it doesn't bleed because water on top of water, it won't give a good result, right? It will spread out and then it won't look nice. What should we color the inside? Hmm? Oh. Where's my paper towel? Do I have a paper towel here? Okay, I need to clean this up here. Or right, I'll just use a marker there. Because I don't want to wait for this to dry. I'm going to use 
my blue trying to color without getting so if you don't want the color to get it in the middle so you can there's a strip of paper that we cut out right you can put that inside so it doesn't get there This is done. I need to color the inside the hot part. I'm going to leave it like this for it to dry. Maybe I should make some red. So inside, if you want to color with, you can color with whatever coloring material you have, okay? I'm just coloring with this so that um, I don't have to go find another coloring material. And I have used the same coloring material outside, right? So I, I want to give a uniform look. Okay. So I'm done. Um, whatever message you want to write, go ahead from, from, no, to, from, <laughs> things like that, that you add, okay? Now see, I hope, you guys need to wait for it to dry. I just want to show you guys how it works. Maybe I'll blow it a few minutes before uh, I close this. Uh-oh. So this is the finished look uh, because it's still wet. I'm like I'm going to spoil my card. So it will be like that. And then you can, when you give it to the person, it will be folded down like this. So all that they see is a flower. When they open, they see the message inside. Isn't it cool? Right? So... I hope whoever you're giving this card enjoys this card as much as I enjoyed making this card for you guys. I hope you had fun making this card and see you guys next week. Till then, bye-bye.